Guys, in this video I'd like to quickly show you Artist X 1.1 which is a Linux distribution based off of Ubuntu 11.04 um, aimed at creative artists. Um, it is a big ISO image to download, it is um, 3.6 gigabytes and on the website they state that you can easily run it off of the live DVD or a live um, USB flash drive um, so for that sole purpose I'm not going to install it um, and I have to say I've had a bit of a look around um, and I'm not really happy with it um, overall so let's get stuck into it uh, we have um, the computer icon on the desktop and they use Nautilus um, they have this sort of black theme we have your home folder, network servers, trash, the option to install it. We have the menu, show desktop, obviously all of your open applications display here. Uh, we have the system monitor, um, you know, the system monitor sort of thingy at the bottom here. We have universal access preferences, networking. Uh, we have, um, you know, sort of the sound and microphone control, sound preferences. Uh, you know, you can manage your chat, mail, broadcast, um, Pigeon and Ubuntu One accounts. You know, we have the stock sort of GNOME, um, you know, calendar. Um, and the menu, I believe, is unique to this distribution. I quite like the menu. It sets it apart from a few other distributions and it's probably the one thing that's unique about this distribution. And it's the only one positive thing I have to say about this distribution. I quite like the menu. Um, in this video, I'm not going to go through all of the applications. I will tell you why the amount of different applications that do the same thing in this distribution is just um, ridiculous. Um, in my previous video, it was 20 minutes long. I decided to redo it because I went through all of the applications. And I don't even know what half of them are. So Artist X, um, you can view all of the applications. So let's look at the categories. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of them. These are all of the accessories. And as you can see, there are quite a few accessories. I believe I saw at least... Um, at least three different text editors, at least um, three different, you know, desktop um, screen recording programs, at least um, three different on-screen keyboards. I think they go a bit over the top in this um, distribution. Uh, for audio, we have converters. You know, I, I'm, I'm not familiar with all of these audio video applications, um, so I'm going to reserve judgment. I don't know what is um, useful and what is not. So we have converters, we have editors, mixers, we have players, um, I believe I can say something about players, we have Amarok, uh, what else do we have, okay so Amarok, we have Banshee, we have Clementine, um, we have Exhale, I've used um, that one before, um, so what is that, three or four players, I'll ask FM, that's alright, um, Moon Music Player, um, what else? I believe they also have um, Rufenbox. Ah, uh, yep, they have Rufenbox. Um, so with music players alone, they go a bit overboard, a bit over the top. Most distributions have one main um, music player, whether it's Amarok or Banshee or Rufenbox or Clementine, etc. So they definitely go overboard. They have too many applications that do the same thing as one another. We have sequencers, um, synths, excuse my accent. Uh, we have um, a bunch of different tools here. Look at that long list. I'm not going through all of them. Start Jack. I have no idea what that is. Uh, CD and DVD. Look at all of these disc, um, you know, burning utilities that they have here. You know, way too many. Like, you know, maybe three, four or five, you know, would be necessary though. You know, a lot of these probably do the same thing as one another. Uh, emulators, you know, they have a bunch of DOS and NES emulators and they don't even have VirtualBox. Uh, they have Play on Linux, which I suppose some people would appreciate. For graphics, we have a whole lot of um, 2D graphic applications. Um, I am not familiar with, you know, most of these, so I'm going to reserve judgment as to whether or not it's necessary to have so many. You know, a few um, different 3D applications, you know, Blender is obviously a good application. A uh, whole bunch of different viewers, um, you know, Gwen View, um, and I haven't heard of most of these other ones, G Thumb Image Viewer. 
uh, for internet. They haven't gone too overboard with the amount of internet browsers. We have en empathy internet um, messaging. We have evolution mail. I believe we have Firefox um, 5. We have an FTP client. We have a couple of different Gmail notifiers which can come in handy. You only need one though. Kmail. Uh, we have Conqueror which is a browser and a file manager. And I believe that we also have Reconk, and from my understanding, Reconk is a newer version of Conqueror, unless I am mistaken. We have KTorrent, um, you know, for torrenting, you know, legal Linux distributions, of course. Uh, Pigeon, you know, it looks to have Java, Thunderbird. We also have um, Transmission, another BitTorrent client. I believe that Foos is for BitTorrent peer-to-peer -peer networking. So, um, yeah, a few different BitTorrenting applications. We have ABR Word as well as um, LibreOffice. We have Adobe Reader 9. Um, yeah, that's alright. We have a few different photography um, applications. Once again, I am not, you know, aware with all of the um, photography applications, so I'm not sure whether or not they're going overboard. They seem to have a Flickr application, which is nice. Uh, publishing, a few different PDF type applications by the looks of it. A few different scanning applications, you know, I believe that's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, five or six too many scanning applications. You know, most distributions either have, you know, scanner utility or simple scan or Xane image um, scanner. We have all of the system tools. Um, for the most part, it is, um, you know, pretty universal. A few of these, you know, different system tools look to be a bit different. I'm not going through them all, though. Uh, we have a lot of different video applications, even a YouTube video, uh, YouTube viewer, I'm not sure what the point of that is. Uh, a few different, you know, TV applications, you know, for TV tuners and internet TV. Uh, there are quite a few different um, video applications here. Um, you know, we have a few different webcam applications, you know, I quite like cheese. They have Ryan pre-installed, which I suppose is nice. We have um, the Places menu and um, the System menu. And it seems to be a bit scrunched up. It might be due to the resolution I'm using in the virtual machine running off of the ISO. So, you know, I personally would not recommend this distribution. It's basically Ubuntu 11.04 with a different interface with a bunch of applications that you will most likely not use. You're better off getting a default installation of Ubuntu and just um, researching the good applications and installing them. You know, for example, for 3D, um, you know, for 3D imaging um, or for 3D graphics, I mean, you'd probably get Blender. For, um, you know, recording your desktop, you know, you'll get Record by a Desktop. Um, yeah, though, I'd highly recommend um, just getting, you know, one of the base Linux distributions and installing um, the applications you actually need. Um, feel free to um, tell me what you think about this distribution and thanks for watching.